Hey Pulaski, I'm here with Sarah Willis and she is actually bringing a very important event to the rec center in August. Uh, so Sarah, I know it was about babies and I'm told that they are important to, for the future. So Absolutely. why don't you tell us a little bit about what is happening? We are celebrating World Breastfeeding Week uh, here in Pulaski at the Recreation Center uh, on August 1st from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, we are uh, trying to bring breastfeeding awareness to Pulaski and that's kind of the initiative uh, because breastfeeding is so important for our babies and our mothers um, and so uh, that's that's what we're okay. Now let's pretend for a second I'm a guy who doesn't know too much about kids because I'm a guy who doesn't know too much about kids. What are some of the reasons why breastfeeding is so important? All right. Well, that's a good question. Um, breastfeeding is actually great not only for the infants but for the mothers, and we'll start with mothers. Okay. Um, breastfeeding reduces the risks risk of breast cancer and ovarian cancer for mothers. Um, it also reduces the risks of postpartum depression. Uh, after a mother has a baby, um, there is that slight risk of having uh, uterine rupture or uterine um, hemorrhage, rather. Um, it reduces that risk because breastfeeding actually helps the uterus to contract to its normal size. Um, there are uh, other uh, studies that show that breastfeeding actually increases the bonding between the mother and the infant. Uh, not only just an emotional bonding, but a physical bonding. By breastfeeding, uh, it releases oxytocin, which is a hormone that um, not only does it help uterine uh, activity uh, as far as shrinking, it also helps the mother to actually form a loving bond with the infant. Mm -hmm. Not saying that other mothers don't have that, but it is an increased bond um, and it helps for mothers maybe who are having issues with bonding, there's a physical activity that's actually helping this to happen. Wow. So it's kind of important. Um, as far as baby, um, breastfeeding is, breast milk is actually best for baby. Uh, it helps calm the intestinal activity. Um, it's actually, um, it helps with uh, something called gut flora, which is the bacteria in the gut that helps the baby to digest food later on in life. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it reduces the risk of uh, asthma, it reduces the risk of pneumonia, uh, any intestinal issues like Crohn's disease or um, allergies, uh, and it also just makes a happier baby. Uh, the bonding between the baby and the mother during breastfeeding is comforting mm -hmm. for the child. And so uh, it's a great way to, when you've got a fussy child, it's just a great way to calm baby down. Uh, so it also has that uh, benefit to oh. it. So oh. yeah, it's oh. wonderful. Yeah, that was a lot of things I didn't know. I, so Absolutely. you're gonna have a lot of information available. It's gonna be speakers, there's gonna be booth set up. Yes, so. and we do have um, opportunities for moms who don't breastfeed as well. So mm -hmm. this is not to exclude mothers who formula feed. Mm -hmm. We have uh, speakers coming out to talk about other important topics um, such as car seat safety. Mm -hmm. We have a, a child passenger safety technician coming to speak about that. Uh, we've got dietitians from Tennessee Health Department to talk about, um, or the Giles County Health department sorry mm -hmm. to talk about um, nutrition for mom and for baby mm -hmm. uh, we have some speakers talking about something called baby wearing uh, so you have a fussy baby mm -hmm. who uh, possibly doesn't like to be put down very often yeah. a really great way to get things done around the house is to wear your baby so we'll have someone to come and talk about um, the different ways that you can wear your baby safely yeah. and mm -hmm. so it makes a happy mom and a happy baby uh, we also have um, Munchy Diapers is coming to talk about, or it's Munchy Baby rather, okay. sorry, uh, to, is coming to ta uh, talk about cloth diapering. Okay. So uh, we've got, um, you know, it's regular diapers, disposable diapers rather, uh, are kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. um, so we have some options for moms who maybe don't want to spend as much money. So we've got someone coming to talk about um, this other option, which is cloth diapering, which helps you to save money, um, as well as um, other things. 
So uh, let's see what else. We have door prizes, amazing door prizes, door prizes that I would love to win myself if I was allowed to. Um, we have a ring sling that's being donated by Sakura Bloom. Uh, it retails almost $200. It's a silk ring sling and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, we also have teething necklaces like the one I'm wearing. Uh, this is a silicone teething necklace um, and we have uh, uh, let's see what else. We have some um, giveaways from the Tennessee Giles Department Health De Giles County Health Department. Uh, they will be giving away some hands-free nursing bras. They'll be giving away um, nursing covers and things like that. So we've got lots of stuff um, for breastfeeding moms and non-breastfeeding moms uh, to win, and they're really great prizes. Uh, the ho the hospital um, is donating food so we'll have free lunch for moms and children um, and dads are welcome as well of course uh, we also have booths from retailers around the around town um, there's also some retailers coming in from Huntsville Alabama um, and then we have uh, some of the local programs for moms and babies that'll be present at the expo. So we've got a lot of stuff going yeah, on. It sounds like it. A lot of good information for new parents, expecting parents, exactly. even some older parents. Mm -hmm. uh, I really think everybody should come down uh, August 1st, starting yes. at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Yep. Uh, well, Sarah, thank you so much for coming on. Tell Absolutely.